Our subject today is the Anglo Arms Survival Knife. To wit, this. It's a big, solid knife. It weighs, what do we say, a pound, which is about half a kilogram. And it is, let's see, 31, 2 centimetres long, or about 12 and a half inches. So it's not a small knife by any means. Reasonable blade size, we've got there, 7 inches or 7 centimetres. Maybe about 17, 18 or so. Uh, hollow handle. One of the reasons I quite liked it, actually. I just wanted a hollow handled knife, and this came up uh, largely as a result of the government's wonderful vacillation as to whether or not they're going to be selling knives online soon or not. Lots of places are having sales, <laughs> which means you can buy lots of knives very cheap. Well done, the government. So, what do you get? Again, I think it's likely to be 440 for no other reason, it doesn't actually state what it is. The handle apparently is cast aluminium, and I'm guessing there's a little bolt in there is the bit that bolts basically the lock together. This is the disadvantage with these sort of knives, of course. They're not actually very strong. You may be tempted to try and prise doors open or car doors or whatever, um, but don't because it's going to break. They are rather better at sitting in a cabinet and looking quite good. So, take the top off. And the first thing you notice is you get a compass. The second thing you notice, uh, it's broken. It worked this morning when this arrived in the post, but for some reason, um, it's just fallen apart. All the water's come out. It's not damped at all, which is a shame. Talking of water, mm, you get an O-ring, which is just down in there. Unfortunately, that doesn't make this watertight. I sat it in some water this morning to see, and all it did was leaked in like a sieve. I have, because I'm a resourceful sort of chap, got a second O-ring here for my O-ring collection, which if you stick it over there, ah, perhaps not better than that. Oh, this went so smoothly earlier. <laughs> if you stick it over there, actually makes it watertight. What do you get in the handle? Oh, there's a little survival kit in here. Woohoo! Let's see what we got. Stuff in a fairly cheap plastic bag. I would have thought it would be rather better to have a plastic thing enclosed in it, at least keep it dry. Um, various bits and pieces in here, all of which was average, fairly average quality, I would have thought. Fishing line. There is actually a fishing hook in there as well, although I know at Oh dear, I know absolutely nothing about fishing and I'm not really sure what thing, what sort of thing you're going to catch with a hook like that. So that bit of fishing line, I haven't bothered measuring how much. The sewing kit, obviously during your survival thing you need to maintain your sartorial eloquence. A couple of matches and a bit of strike. Um, there may have been other stuff as well but I was fiddling with it and I dropped it so it may well actually not have most of this stuff or it may have had some other bits, can't remember. Not really relevant because let's face it, how off you know the chances of you actually needing a knife like this are well zero, frankly. I live in a town on the south coast and I doubt anything particularly bad is going to happen that's going to warrant me having to depend for my life upon a knife like this, which is probably just as well, really. So shove it all back in its little hidey hole. With a broken compass. How much use, frankly, a compass is going to be when it's surrounded by a big bulk of metal. Um, well, I was playing with it this morning, and you can actually make the whole thing spin around by just moving the knife around it. It's a nice touch, though. Uh, so we put that on. That's now waterproof, given that I put an O-ring on there, which the factory didn't bother doing. Oh, and you get a bit of cheap lanyard as well. Um, now, this is quite a big, hefty, bulky knife, and there's some great-looking teeth on the lower end. Whoa, they're aggressive. They'll cut. Will they? Let's have a look. Bit of wood. Yep, you can saw with it. The saw bit works. What the hell's that? Get out of the way. Right, so is it very sharp out the box? This is where often where cheaper knives, excuse me, fail because they just don't bother sharpening them. Let's have a look. Sharpness test. Hmm. Try it again. Sharpness test. Ah. Hmm. Shall we try feather sticking? 
Ow. Ah, that's the immediate disadvantage. Of course, you can't actually press down on those bits because you'll cut through your hand. Um, what, what, to my surprise, is actually almost... Uh, not really, no. Um, I suppose you could try a little bit more, but that's all bark. Oh, it's actually an owl. It's working. Um, what this hole in here is for, I've no idea. I presume it's some, um, I don't know, to be honest, with the spear, perhaps, or... I've no idea. I did. A friend of mine did have one of these sort of things, and it actually came with two holes, drawn in the handguard here. And in the handle, there were two spikes that you could screw onto it, and you put a bit of rope through here, chucked it up in a tree, the knife obviously would stick in the tree like that, with these two spiky things hanging down, and then you could then use that to pull yourself up a tree. I'm not the only one who can see a downfall with that plan, am I? Hmm. So, the Anglo Arms Survival Knife. I mean, I like it. I think it looks brilliant. I mean, look at it. Look at it. It just looks aggressive, doesn't it? You're going to survive anything. Nuclear bomb-proof. I'm sorry, it's obviously this, this, this bit looks a bit sort of Dalek-y like, so it's sort of intimidating. Um, which is probably what you could actually do, to be honest. You could intimidate your way into survival. That's probably going to be about it. Um, bit of a shame. I still like it. I did have another hollow-handled knife that I actually threw in the bin because it was so rubbish. Absolutely dreadful thing. I can't remember the name or make of it or anything at all. This was bought to um, replace it. Hmm. It's going to sit in the box. It's going to sit in the collection as an example of a hollow-handled knife. And that's probably about it, frankly. Obviously, the thing with these things is if you want to get a hollow handled knife, you're going to have to spend two or three hundred pounds. You're not going to get one like this for 12 quid. Well, you can get one like this for 12 quid because that's how much I've paid for it. Um, it's probably fair priced for it, to be honest. It's, yeah, it's just, it's not very good.